I would be glad to talk about uh, research funding uh, in my career. Uh, research funding has been important from the very beginning. Uh, when I was a graduate student, I was lucky enough to have a graduate fellowship from the National Science Foundation. Uh, these are fellowships which are awarded in uh, various fields, including economics, uh, on a competitive basis. But I was also lucky enough to get support from private foundations, uh, and, and this is a critical feature of the American academic system, that, that private foundations play a critical role in, uh, in research funding. Um, when I was uh, a young researcher, uh, I was nominated by my university for a Sloan Research Fellowship. This is awarded uh, by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, which supports scientific subjects. And then some years later, uh, when I wanted to go on sabbatical for a year and devote my time to uh, various research projects, I applied for a Guggenheim uh, fellowship. Uh, these uh, are awarded uh, competitively across all fields. Uh, in a typical year, there are something like 2,000 applicants. They award something like 150 fellowships, so, so uh, very stiff competition. I'm happy to see that now in, here in Brussels, the Fondation ULB is playing the, the role that the Sloan Foundation, the Guggenheim Foundation uh, would play in funding uh, researchers of uh, the ULB. So uh, that's, that, I think, is, uh, is a very welcome development. It's particularly important when you're in the early part of your career, first 10, 15 years, that you, uh, that you have adequate support for research. We know that, uh, that the life cycle of a researcher uh, is, um, is relatively short. That is, you're likely to be productive in the early part of your career. That's when most of the truly innovative work uh, comes, but also it's, it's the time when, um, because you're not necessarily well known to the whole profession, it's toughest to get uh, public research funding. And, and so uh, private foundations like the Fondation ULB can play an important role in supporting uh, young researchers at this critical stage of their career. I think uh, that investing in, funda in fundamental research is one of the best investments a society can make. If you look at what has driven American prosperity, American growth, it's, it's been ideas. Nevertheless, uh, the, the people supporting that research uh, recognize that uh, it, investing in, in basic research uh, would likely pay off in, in the long run. It, it, it's, it's a long-term investment with a very high potential payoff.